How to add new fonts to your custom ribbon printing program. It's all right here, right now. Hello everybody, I'm Sue and you are watching Ribbon Print Tales. This is the place to be to learn everything you need to know to use your ribbon printer easily, confidently, and profitably. We've gotten a lot of calls lately about how to add new fonts into the ribbon printing program. And the truth is, the fonts actually don't exist within the software program. They pull directly from your computer. So all we need to do today is talk about how to add new fonts onto your computer. There are five steps to adding fonts to your computer and therefore adding to your ribbon printing program. Number one is you'll find the font you want to add. Secondly, you'll identify where to get it. Third, you'll download it onto your computer. Fourth, install it onto your computer. And finally, select it when designing your ribbon. There are many places you can go to find fonts. Here's an article that we wrote in Ribbon Print Tales about a year and a half ago that has 25 different sites where you can go and look for fonts. So this is one option for you, and I have the link here on the bottom. An easier option is just to go over to our Pinterest board. You'll always know that you're on our site if you see that yellow bow. For today's purposes, we're just going to look at this board called Fonts. If you were to double click on this board, you'll see there are literally thousands of different fonts that can help you decide what types of additional fonts you want to bring into your computer and therefore put on your ribbons. Let's select a font and find its true name. Here's a post that's on our Pinterest board, and I've decided that I like this font that's worded Pumpkin Patch. If I click on this post and scroll down a little bit, I'm going to find the details of the font. Here you can see Pumpkin Patch also has the word Bolton linked up with it. Bolton is the true name of that font. They just typed the words Pumpkin Patch, but the font is really Bolton. If I were to double click on Bolton, I'm going to get to the source. In other words, identify where I can get this font. The site is called defont.com. Under Bolton, there are a bunch of different versions. So every font has multiple versions, bold and outline and all different styles. This is the one that I'm going to be selecting for our purposes. It's called Bolton Titling Shadowed. Big caution. When you are downloading a font, make sure that you are downloading the actual font. Here you can see this download button connects specifically with the font. What you want to make sure to avoid is downloading another program or a search bar or something else that some of these free sites try to put onto your computer. Here you can see another download button right on this same site under the Bolton font, and it's trying to download into your computer this other program called Free Font Install. So just make sure that you're downloading the true font, not any other random type programs. Back to downloading. I'm going to save the zip file to the computer. Once I press that download button, I am going to select Save file, and I'll tell you why I do that in a second. And it will save the entire zipped file onto my computer. Most of the time it will be in your downloads folder. And what I like to do is take it from that folder and drag it over to my desktop. I open it there and then save it to a master file that contains all the fonts that I've imported over time. This way you'll have all the fonts that you've brought into your computer in one place and you can easily move them from computer to computer. If I double click on that zipped file, this is what comes up. And here you'll see that there are all those versions that we saw in the prior screen. And this is the one I want, the Bolton Titling Shadowed. When I double click on that, this window comes up and here you'll see the Install button. 
you'll simply click on the install button and it will automatically go to the correct folder in your computer that contains all of your fonts. And then at this point, the font is installed onto your computer. As you can see, we've moved over now into the Design and Print ribbon printing software program, and we're going to take a look at how this new font that we've installed works within the program. So let's make a new design. The ribbon that I have in the printer is the default here, 1.75 inches, so we'll say Create, and here's our design board. I'm going to add some text. And let's just keep consistent with what we've been talking about. So it says pumpkin patch. But I want to change the font to this new font that we've just added in. And look at here. Here it is, Bolton Titling Shadow. So I have selected it. I'm going to add it into my design board. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and maybe a little bit longer just for fun. And there you have it. Now all I need to do is select print and it will print the new font that I've just installed onto my new ribbon. And there you go. How to add fonts onto your computer and therefore onto your custom printed ribbon designs. I love seeing how you guys are starting to work outside the box, thinking of new ideas of how to use your ribbon printing services. Do share with us either with pictures on our Facebook page or in the comment sections below all the creative things that you're now doing with your system. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.